Today we're going to be looking at the Collector Frank commodity which is located into the Workbench 3.1 Tools Commodities. Now this commodity allows you to double click a window and bring it to the front. It's very useful to actually have installed uh, but out of the box it doesn't work as you can see and that's because the actual tool types aren't set. Now, the tools type is a key value pair which is a parameter. We just need to set this on, on the actual uh, click to front. Now you can see that it actually is working if we run Snoop DOS and run the click to front actual program. We'll have it load up and you can see the tool types are loaded up correctly and everything is else is okay. So this is where we have the problem is with the tool type. So what you have to do to change the tool type is right click icons, go to information and you can see your tool types here and we're looking at the qualifier. At the moment it's got the left all in there. So if we use the left all with the click to the front, it will work. But what we want to do is set that to none. So all we do is just double click a window and it comes to the front. So just click on, on there and remove what's actually in there and just type in none and hit enter and there it is that's in there. Now we need a new one in here called activate and this allows and that's got equal one equal to one and what that allows us to do is actually drop a copy of that commodity into the startup and it will start on the next reboot so double click click to front now and by double clicking any of these windows you can see this is a really useful tool it actually brings it to front so what I'm going to do now is actually get um, click to front working in the startup so I don't need snoot dos anymore so I can actually get rid of that. So if we look at the WB startup folder, and what we'll do is just take a copy of the commodity and drop it into there. So let's get rid of some of these windows and let's just close that down. All right. So in our WB startup at the moment I've got MP, MP NCP, so I'm gonna get rid of that because that has got a click to front in there. So I'm just going to get rid of that because I don't want it interfering with the current tools. So I'm just going to drag and drop this in here. But the trouble is if you drag and drop, it actually just moves it. So we don't really want to do that. We need to make a copy of it. So right click and then go up to icons and then we can copy that. And that just creates a copy. As you can see, it's on the far right hand side and we can move that into our, our workbench starts up. So now we're in our work, workbench startup folder, we can actually rename that click to front to something something meanable. So I'm just going to rename it back to click to front and that's in there waiting. So when we do a soft reset, what happens is the Amiga will reboot and anything in that workbench startup folder will get started. So now we can see if this has actually worked. So I'll double click this window. See, we've now got a working click to front. Okay, so I hope that helps with any uh, problems people are having with that commodity, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video or any other videos on my channel, please pop over to my Ko-Fi site, or my coffee, however you want to pronounce it. And there you can actually support me by dropping me a few pounds, a few francs or dollars, wherever your currency is. All money will be turned back into the show, not just for buying me a coffee. And I'll be buying resources and equipment to actually produce and enhance my current videos on that site itself.